the other thing is this very Feldenkraisian idea of staying within what's easy. And, you know, sometimes for many people that makes no sense. Often there's a way, if we just take a moment to think, what could I do to make this task easier? Do I, do I go and get the ladder? You know, do I ask somebody to give me a hand to hold the other end? Do I you know, get, get tools that are better designed for the job? Are they bigger or longer handles or different grips on the handles that that allow my arthritic fingers to, to find something easier to hang on to. So thinking about some of those practical things, one of the big things that, that I think I've learned over the years with these ideas is not to stay doing the same task for too long that you know, I might be weeding a garden and instead of just keeping going until it's done, if I notice something starting to get a bit tired or a bit sore, then either I can just pause and appreciate what I've done or look at the intricacies of a, a flower or something, or I can actually stand up and pick up those weeds and walk and put them where they need to go and come back and do a bit more. Now, that might not be all that efficient in terms of your time and motion traditional ideas, but in fact, it's given my body a chance to use a whole different set of muscles and let the ones that were getting tired rest and refresh for a few minutes. And so I come back and, and do a bit more. And I think that paying attention to your own body, getting to know you know, when's enough for the moment? Doing a little bit of something else, maybe a completely different task, coming back, doing some more is more efficient in the long run because it means, you know, we can stay in the garden for, for longer in the day or we can come back tomorrow without being stiff and sore from whatever we did the day before. Mm -hmm.